Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Sorry it has been so long, life has been crazy, but I'm so excited to be back. Happy summer, and yeah. Today's video is going to be a Rover versus WAG video. I'm going to compare and contrast um, those two apps for you. Um, hopefully to help you decide um, if you are looking for an app to either use or become a walker or a sitter for. Hopefully I can help you out with that and help you decide which one is best for you. So let's get into the video. So before we start, I just want you guys to know that both apps are amazing and you can definitely get whatever you need from either one. I think they are really perfect in different ways, so I hope today I kind of clarify a little bit for you. But before we really get into all of it, um, if you have any questions about either one that maybe I don't mention in this video, you can go ahead and leave them down below and I will either make a video of it or answer it for you in the comments. So yeah. First I'm going, well I have this, so if I ever look down it's because I put exactly what I thought in each one and so I don't forget anything. So I'm going to talk about Rover, WAG, and then some similarities that both of the apps have together. So starting off with Rover, um, the first thing I have down is planned ahead. So every single Rover client, I guess, that I have had um, are planned way in advance. So it's at least like a week in advance or a few days in advance. They will be, they will message me there on Rover and be like, can you watch my dog from this time to this time and all that. And it's usually further in advance so you can plan on it and all of that. The next one is they take about 20%. Um, I did this math myself and then I googled it and it says about 20%. So um, give or take a little bit. Um, they do all of the earnings that you make. They take 20% of it. And then the next one is you have to pay for your own background check. You have to go through a background check and pass it and everything before you can actually become a rover sitter or a walker. Um, it has different levels of background checks, which I can't remember off the top of my head how much it costs, but I think the lowest one was like $25 or something like that, and I think that's what I did. I can't remember. I got the lowest one, and um, I have still gotten walks and sits from that. Um, they say that you are um, listed higher than some people if you do get the most expensive one, like the higher the expense goes, the more that your name shows up or something. But I have gotten um, some clients from having the lowest one. Um, I still think you could get a lot out of it without spending a lot of money. And on Rover, the last thing I have on Rover of it being separate is the fact that you get to pick your own rates. So when you set up your like profile and everything, it tells you like for a walk or for a sitting or for whatever, you put how much you want to charge and it'll tell you how much you will be getting paid with the percentage that they take. So if you say that I'm going to charge $10 per walk, it will tell you how much you will actually be making because they do take that fee off like I said before. And you also get to change your holiday rates. So if it's a holiday weekend or whatever um, you can set your rates as higher or you can just have it stay the same so that is all I have for Rover and now let's talk about WAG so on the things about WAG WAG is different because you get like on-demand walks is what they call it so you can get a notification to be like somebody needs a walk right now and you can accept it or decline it um, depending on if you have the time to actually walk them now or not or they will be like I need it um, in the morning or sometime tomorrow. It's never usually further in advance than that than the week that you're currently in. 
So like for Rover, all the ones that I've gotten have been way in advance, but WAG is more like I need you tomorrow or I need you right this second. So that's the thing about them, that if you need more time in advance, I would go with Rover rather than WAG. Um, the next one is the app actually tracks your walks, which this is one of the features that I think is really cool that WAG has is because when you go and pick up your dog, you click, you're there, then you obviously walk to the door, get the dog, or go to the backyard, or just whatever the situation is, it says on there how you need to be getting your dog. So you get the animal, and when you start walking, you click start walk, and it'll literally show where you walk, um, like around the neighborhood or around whatever, and it'll tell you like, when you're finished. So if it's a 20 minute walk, it'll tell you when 20 minutes is up or 30 minutes or whatever. So you don't really have to take, keep track of that. And it says it, and it'll say like how far you walk. And it also has a button that you can click if the dog pees or poops so that the owner will know um, what happens during the walk, where you're walking, how like long you walk, how far you walk and all of that stuff. So I think that is really cool that it'll track your walks for you. <clears throat> and this one is, I googled this one as well and it says that you get um you get 60 percent so they take about 40 percent um where rover takes only like 20 percent these might not be a hundred percent accurate this is just what i have found when i was googling i know they both take a percentage because every client that i've had do it takes percentage but i just don't know exactly what that is but you get about 60% of WAG's profits. And WAG actually has a free background check. They will do the background check on you and everything. And um, if it obviously goes through perfect, you can um, become a dog walker for them. But there is a registration fee. So it's kind of like the same thing as Rover. You still have to spend money. You just can't for free do it but wag comes with a t-shirt and a bandana for your dog that you're walking so if you wear the shirt and you put the bandana on the dog while on your walk you get a dollar extra i'm not sure if it's just a dollar in general or if you get a dollar for your shirt and then a dollar for the bandana like i'm not sure yet i haven't done that yet so i'm not 100 percent on that either but i do know that you get like a dollar extra um if you have those during your walk. So for Rover, you just get the background check for your fee, but then um, for WAG, you get the registration fee is what it says, the background, the shirt, and the bandana. And you get like a few business cards that you can give to people that um, is a certain percent off of their first walk and um, you get some special stuff for that for referring somebody you can get like a bonus and stuff like that so that comes with the registration fee as well and then um i feel like the one negative side of wag because everything has been very positive and awesome but this one is um i guess the negative um because whenever there's a walk near you like the owner of the dog or whatever does not get to choose you like Rover, you have your profile there and then the dog owner that wants a walk or a sit will be able to choose somebody and contact them. And they can book it that way after they had talked to you or anything like that. But for a WAG, um, you just everybody gets a notification that there's a walk at this time for this much and you can accept it or decline it, but you have to be the first one to accept it. There can be so many people like a hundred people trying to get this one walk that everybody gets the notification for but you literally have to be the first one so that you can have the walk so i feel like that would be the only thing that is bad about um wag because you have competition like that so on to the sames as rubber and wag they do have some similarities i have a few here so i will just mention those so the first one I put is rare because I feel like there are spurts where I will get a lot on both and then there will be like a couple weeks where I like there's literally nothing. 
like um i just recently got one from rover but before that it had been like two months before i had gotten something and then from wag like once summer vacation has started i haven't gotten anything like no notifications or anything so i'm wondering if i don't know if i'm the only one i doubt it but there has been like one or two and then i don't even get it because it's booked like i said before like there's a lot of competition for that so the next one is you have to pay money for both like i've mentioned before there's a fee for both of them so no matter which app you decide to go with you do you will have to pay for something and both of them actually have like a swag store i think that's what they call it and you can go on the store and you can buy different things um you can buy like extra t-shirts or you can buy a t-shirt from over or you can buy hats and they just have a bunch of different stuff and they have a bunch of stuff that you could use to like promote your business because i mean that's what it is essentially you're having a dog walking dog sitting business through them so you can buy like business stuff so that you could um like print stuff out or hand stuff out or anything like that um to promote you so you can get more business um through mostly rover because if somebody finds that you're on rover um they could want to use you and then you would get your business through that <laughs> um both take percentages um sadly you do not get a hundred percent of the earnings from either app um both of them will take some amount of money um which i've noticed rover takes less than wag does um just through my research i could be wrong but just through my research um rover takes less um but yeah well it'll depend on how much you charge for it because like that one you can pick your own rates so the last one i put for same through um rover and wag is that you get your own profile so when you sign up for both apps you sign up on the computer and then they'll send you a thing for the app because they have special apps for um, dog walkers and dog sitters than they do for dog owners so you make your own profile and you get your own picture, you get your own bio, you get your own everything, you get your own um, reviews and it's not like a whole app thing. Each person has their own thing for each app and I think that's pretty cool that somebody can go on there and see it and if you ever need anything like for a job or anything like that you can go ahead and show them reviews or if you ever decide to start your own business you can transfer reviews that you have from either one so it shows that you have experience and you have positive feedback and you're doing your job correctly you could um, put that on your own business or your social media or wherever you try to promote your business you can go ahead and put that there so that is all i have for rover and wag um, similarities and differences if you have anything else that you would want me to know that goes for each one or whichever one that you prefer you can go ahead and comment that down below because i'm really interested to see who just does one or who does both i decided to do both thinking that it would broaden my business even further and it definitely has both of these apps are amazing and i think just any specific person likes one app over the other i think that's just how it's been for people that i have talked to different personalities like different apps and that's totally okay um but i do want to know which one you like the best and which one you prefer and if you have any questions go ahead and leave all of that in the comments down below and my next video is going to be having a like rover versus wag or having your own business so i'm super excited to talk to you about that and hopefully get you to start your own business because i think that would be really cool so i will see you guys in the next video bye guys